Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking all about face masks. As pretty much everyone is currently stuck at home, it is a great time to give yourself some love. Some skin love in particular. And what kind of mask video would this be without wearing a face mask? So we're just going to wear this and watch it dry. <laughs> All right, this is the Elmis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Nourishing Prebiotic Green Mask. It is advanced skincare, defined by nature, led by science. Feed the skin with this versatile super green mask formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this mask retails for $35 and it is one of my favorite masks to just wear. It dries down to a fairly almost transparent look <laughs> it is very soothing calming smells good doesn't smell like broccoli i promise <laughs> it i love this mask it's just it's so it your skin just drinks up all the nutrients from it and your skin feels so soft and just ready for whatever the day is gonna throw at you so that, that is what i'm wearing today all right, we're gonna get right on into this. We're gonna talk about sleeping masks next. And I have four masks on that category. We are going to go from most expensive to the least expensive. So the three more expensive ones do tend to kind of react the same way. They just soak into your skin very nicely as you sleep. Very hydrating deeply hydrating actually and I use one maybe every other every two nights or so I use them a lot I have very dry skin so that really helps me out a lot I just have to be careful not to over hydrate because then my skin will kind of pill up and I need to remember to exfoliate <laughs> dead skin taking up all the moisturizer and it's just not gonna work. You can't bring dead skin back to life. So this is the Avant Shea Butter Rich brand Pan Panthenol Polydicene Age Radiance 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. And this retails for $107 and it came in either a BoxyCharm or a FabFitFun box, but I like it, it's great. Um, would I repurchase? No, because I feel like the other ones I'm going to name that I do like in this little list here work just as well. So, won't repurchase, but since I have it, it is great. And if you have it, it I feel like it's worth using up at least. Next, which one's the second most expensive? Alright, the Dr. Brandt Hydromatic Recovery Sleeping Mask. This one, it goes right into your skin as always. Very nice, calming, great to wear while sleeping. And this one retails for $52. It's really nice. I cannot seem to find it online in this packaging. It seems to be in a different one now. And I couldn't find if there's any discrepancies in how much is in here versus the new one. But this one has 1.7 ounces, so. Not sure about the other one, but yeah. Next up, this is like my second or third container of this. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleepy Mask. Out of all the sleepy masks, this one is my favorite, especially because of the scent. Mm, watermelon, it's, just, it's really nice. This one retails for $45, but they do have a mini if you're interested in trying it out, and that retails for $22. And you can generally find this in some sort of a nice little set to just try out more products from this brand. But it smells amazing, sinks into the skin very nicely. I love with those three, you can just leave it on, not worry about it. You wake up, you don't even have to wash it off. You're, you're good to go. Next up is the only one of the sleeping masks that I do not care for. It does have an option where you can just rinse it off after three to five minutes, but I like a more intense hydration, so I usually try to do the overnight way. It is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. 
this does not soak in as nicely as the others this one tends to just kind of sit on top of the skin so it is not my favorite and I've actually had it for about a year and a half now so it's time for this one to go and I didn't even finish half of it the expiration is 12 months after opening on this so it needs to go but I will not repurchase this one this one retails for $33 so they are all on the upper price range but that is my least favorite of the four sleeping masks staying on the hydration train is the glam glow thirsty mud hydrating treatment this is the mini sample size that you can get and I have had other sample sizes sizes of this product and I just kind of put them all together into the container I I had like three minis open partially used so I'm like might as well just put them all in here you can see there is not much left in here it smells really good it's like a sweet honey scent it it's nice but this is one that you do actually have to wash off but it is nice I like it and I will definitely be getting use out of this for the days where I feel like I need some extra hydration, but I don't, I'm not going to use one of the sleeping masks the night before or I forgot. That one retails for, the full size is $59 for 1.7 ounces. The mini 5.5 ounces is $25. And then they have a value size of 3.5 ounces for $82. Whew. I like it. Next off, this is the last of the hydrating masks. Well, for now. This is the Formula 110.0.6 Bee Berry Smooth Moisturizing Peel Mask. It retails for $10 to $13 on eBay. I could not find it anywhere else except for eBay. So it seems like this has been discontinued and deleted, which is fine with me. It smells good, it, it's cool, it's jelly-ish, but it does not peel off any sort of nice way. It, it's just a mess. It just, no, it doesn't peel. I don't like that. Not a fan. And I, yeah, <laughs> I definitely won't be repurchasing because I don't shop on eBay. Boy, and I just, it, I need to toss it. I thought it'd be a cute thing to do with the kids. The girly kids but they, if they only like peel off masks and if it doesn't peel off nicely they want no part in it okay next I'm going to talk about the generation clay ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask so this one it's okay I don't notice any brightening effects so I don't know um, I like clay masks because they are great at drawing out the impurities in your skin and all the oils but this one also, it kind of tingles in a not that great <laughs> sensation for me on occasion. Doesn't always do that, but my skin is not the biggest fan about it. But I like to use it from now, yeah, now and again. It retails for $49 though. <sighs> I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. It does take a lot of time to wash off though. So that is a bit of a thing I don't care for. Next, we're gonna talk about a product that I don't have right now. It is the Tarte Friction Stick. I will include a picture in the at the end of what this is. It is a very great exfoliating mask. You, what, what more can I say? You can use it uh, quickly for just a quick exfoliator or just leave it on and then wash it off. I will usually just put it on, then I'll start a shower, and then I'll hop in and rinse it off that way. But my skin always feels so smooth after that, and I love it, and I can't wait to repurchase like my fourth or fifth one of these. And it retails for $22, so it is very much so on the affordable end of the spectrum. <sighs> All right, next I have my Arbonne Detox rescue and renew mask so I like this it is a great formula pink clay it's just 
is great. It absorbs all the impurities from your skin for that detox effect. It is really soothing, easy to wash off. Not as easy as some of the peel off ones, but it's great. Love it, highly recommend. It dries at a nice speed and it retails for $44 or $35.20 if you are a cons uh, preferred client. There we go, so we can't talk today. <sighs> so that is that. Next, I'm going to talk about some sheet masks and stuff. So first off, I have the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I like these, they're, I like all under eye masks. They're great for depuffing and giving some intense moisturization, especially if you wanna look like you've slept when you haven't been. So, <laughs> yeah. Those retail for $25 and you get six pairs in there. So, that's a pretty good deal. Next, I'm going to talk about the Arbon RA9 Advanced Prepper Gel Eye Mask. These are nice, very hydrating. Just They are great depuffing and they're a cute little jelly. They come with a little spatula. This has 60 gel eye masks in here. So for general, it is $50 for 60. So that equals $1.67 or so per set of masks. So yeah, you have two eyes, so that makes about 30 uses total. But for the preferred clients, it is um, $40 for this, which would equal $8.34 per session. Next up, I have the Karuna Face for All Face and Eye Mask set. It has seven different masks in here, yes, which I do enjoy. It is great. I have not used all of them up, but it's great. Just have a little pamper yourself moment and put on a sheet mask. You don't have to worry about a sheet mask. It's just put on, go on about your day for a little bit, and then just remove. You're good. And so these are $42, which would equal $6 a piece for all seven. So it is great. They have a whole bunch of different options in here. There's an age-defying, antioxidant, brightening, clarifying, exfoliating, hydrating, and renewal eye. Let's see. What ones have I used or not used yet? Oh, that is a completely different mask. <laughs> I have not used a lot of these, but they're great for just chill and quick, put on and go. These are the Renewal Eye Masks, Clarifying Face Mask, oh, Antioxidant, Ageifying, and Exfoliating. I'm very intrigued to try out the exfoliating one because how's that gonna work? I don't know. I wonder, is there any AHAs in here named? No bicy salicylic acid on here. Okay. Water is the first ingredient. Is it for all of these? Yes. Yes, it is. That is great. But, hmm. but as always, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you're all staying safe, happy, and healthy at home. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye. Oops. I ended the video a little too quick there. Um, yeah, it has sunk in in mostly all the spots of my face. So you can barely tell on the spots where it has dried down that I have anything on. And you can always just re-wet it and it'll give, be able to give your skin more nutrients on top. Bye.